All right, so we're working on Rosie today. I just finished up some wiring down here, kind of cleaned, well, didn't really clean this up much, but I made it so that all my mirrors, all the power accessories are off this middle switch here. So the tack turns on with that, and then the power goes to the mirrors. Um, so that's all right in, which, that's all right here, where that all is. Then it, uh, yeah, and I just put a little extension on to here for that and then it'll run then the uh, power to the accessories runs here and I will uh, I'll clean this all up here I'll have to leave that fuse accessible that's for the uh, light bars up front but yeah so I'm just gonna kind of do some cleaning up here I'm thinking on relocating the uh, trailer brakes so we'll see Oh, that didn't even, that doesn't even light up. Huh. Interesting. But I'm going to relocate that to be somewhere else. Just because I don't like it right there. Maybe I'll stick it over here. Just so it's out of the way. But, I mean, everyone puts it right here. And I, I find when I'm wearing my big winter boots, I hit it. So I'm going to move it. But, yeah, so all my, uh, all my wiring comes right here, where we're, re where we're fixing it all up. So, here's my uh, ground wire and my power wire here, and speaker wires there. So then this is all for uh, power locks and power mirrors, and I can't remember what does what anymore. But it's all rigged up and ready to go. But I'm going to uh, make this hole bigger while I'm in here. I'm going to use the body saw for that. And then, yeah, just got it rigged up so that I can pretty much toss the, uh, get the other door on here this weekend. But, yeah, so I'm going to get this door off, and we'll keep going from there. Alrighty, so I know this looks like an absolute mess back here, but I just kind of pulled the wiring out from being in here. So I've just got jumpers going, but I've got jumpers going through here and stuff, but the brown wire... Here is power for the windows. And the solid red wire up here is power for the power locks. And this solid pink wire is power for the power mirrors. So, shoot, there's my jumper. So, when I uh, hook this guy into here, oh, shoot, whatever, I can just do that too. Do that. And shoot another hand would be nice for this, but there we go. There we go right. Come on. Then left. So by giving power to that single pink wire, that solid pink wire, I get a fully functional power mirror now, which I have not had. But that's great. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of cut all these ends off here. Run them all, or put them all onto one connector. That way, I can just run power to all, all of them at once. But I'm gonna sit here and keep. But uh, yeah, that's power to everything now. So then it's just uh, get the rest of these wires all routed because all these wires here will have to go over to the um, to the other side of the truck. This wire here, I'm not sure what it does at the moment, but it does affect the um, power locks. So I'm not too sure what it does, but yeah, so I'm just, uh, yeah, I mean, so that all these get power, this goes, to the, these go to, the, these two go to the other side, these two go to the other side, and then these four here should all go to the other side, I'm just going to double check what they all do, because they should all be power window related, I'm just going to sit here and play with them and make sure they all work accordingly. But besides that, um, that pretty much wraps me up for the day. I'm just going to sit here and play with wires until I can figure out what all works with what. Okay, so uh, I'm seeing some weird things going on here, and I just dropped a little connector that I was using here. Shoot. Oh. Alrighty. So what we've got going on here is the uh, test light here is currently hot. And I've got this black and orange wire, oh, where are we? Up here, I'm point, pointing out with the test light. 
that's neutraled. I'm gonna come straight through to my uh, focus to the plug for the uh, um, that the well, either way, you can see that that lit up as neutral. And if we were to, I'll just take a second here, plug this guy back in. And then if you see when I uh, unplug that neutral, it will then no longer be a neutral. So, there we go. So our neutral now is unplugged. And if we take and connect to it now, it's no longer neutral. Now it won't be hot either, because what I have to do down to is, so on the, um, so this is the plug-in for the, uh, for the power locks. And you've got a black and orange here, or an orange with a black stripe and a pink with a black stripe. Now, out here, the two wires that I have no clue what they go to, we have a pink with a black stripe and an orange with a black stripe. And when I ground one and power the other, the, uh, the lock me and have this plugged in, my lock mechanism moves. So I'm not too sure where that, what that means, but there is no wires here like it. So that might mean I gotta tie it all together. I haven't tried that yet. I haven't tried jumping them to these two here. These two back here, which are my other lock mechanism wires. So I'm gonna try that here and see if maybe it's all got to connect together to make it work. But, I'm not too sure at the moment. But, I've got, so I'm still on my hot wire there. Neutral, this down, down here, and up here. And this is, and this center one here is always hot. Because that is my, uh, my thick red wire in here. So when I swap around sides here, and we hit the uh, center one, it lights up. And then when we uh, run the controls, this one down here lights hot. Yeah, and this one up here lights hot. So that leads me to believe that I have to have these wires tied in with these two wires to make everything work. So I'm gonna test that here quick and we'll be back to see what happens. Alrighty. So that is conclusive with that's how it works. Because now you can see that moves. So that's uh, that's great news. So that kind of fixes up a lot of my wiring issues now. So yeah, I'll just uh, redo a bunch of these connectors and just connect everything together. So it's the pink and the black goes to the pink and the purple and the orange and the black here goes to the orange and the purple if you are deciding to be as crazy as me and modifying a base model to a Laramie without any wiring harnesses. So yeah, then uh, what you see down here is just the uh, plug-in for the uh, speaker. I had to remove it for easier access into here. But yeah, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll connect that all up. And then it's just the wires from these to run uh, all of this can get connected together here into one because that's all hot wires or what's supposed to be hot wires. These here are both for mirrors or for power locks. That's power mirrors there. The purple and the black with the white stripes. And then this stuff here is all to go over for the uh, um, for the mirror or for the yeah for the power mirrors. So power locks, power windows, power mirrors, then orange with a black stripe is your ground, and you've got a brown, a pink, and a red, all solid colored, that's your power. So you can see the brown is power for your windows, that's your big switch down here. The red is power for your mirrors, and the pink is the power, or Jeez, I keep messing this one up. Red is power for your wind, for your locks, and then pink up here is power for your mirrors, right there. So, gonna wrap this up, and we be will be good to go for a bit here until we get that other door installed. 
Alrighty, so got the door back on here, did a little bit of trimming on this panel here. Looks like I got to do a little bit more off the bottom here and a little off this edge here. But you know, I had a bit, no shoot, I'm not even looking, a bit off that corner there. A bit off the bottom down here, a bit up here. But yeah, so when we uh, flip the middle switch here, which I might wind up re-rewiring re re into the uh, ignition. But then the uh, window works. Power lock works. And so does the mirror. So that's all good. Um, none of the right side will work yet, of course. But, I mean, I'm not too concerned. I've got these wires here on insulated connectors. And as long as I don't swing this to the right, it'll be fine. So, yeah.